I just don't worry about it. Once it's up and put away, unless I need space, I just let it sit there. And occasionally, I'll find that something that's way, way in the back of the store uh, sells. And I love it when those things sell. As author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard sales, thrift stores, antique malls, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our three antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave today and I love today because we have sold some what I call back enders. We sell some things out of the store today that have been there for quite a quite a while. I think Sophie's Come here girl. Come here. Sophie's running away. She's been hanging out in here with me. She didn't like it when I start talking to the camera, so we'll just say goodbye. Matter of fact, she got a bath today. Blue Ridge Mama gave you a bath. You smell good. You smell good. Hey, Sophie is winning our poll, by the way. It's been on there for a few days now. And uh, hashtag boots, hashtag Sophie, or hashtag Pepper. Pepper's bringing up the rear, even though she's a sweet little cat. But Sophie, you're still number one. She doesn't look too excited. I'm going to put her out there with Turner, and I'm going to come back and show you what's sold. All right, back to what we were talking about. I call them back enders because they've really been stuck in the store for a while. What you'll find if, if you are a new reseller, eventually you buy enough long tail items that the back end of your store becomes really, really stagnant and just kind of sits there. And so you have to make a decision. Am I going to put it on sale? Am I going to get rid of it? Am I going to promote it? Or am I just going to let it sit? I usually just let it sit. Most stuff eventually sells. I'll drop the price every now and again. I'll promote every once in a blue moon. I'll put something on sale after it's been in the store, sometimes for a year before I'll put it on sale. So I just don't worry about it. Once it's up and put away, unless I need space, I just let it sit there. And occasionally I'll find that something that's way, way in the back of the store uh, sells. And I love it when those things sell. So I'm going to let you take a look. I'm going to take the camera probably at the end of the video. And I'm going to show you one of the closets I have that are that's outside. It's not really a closet. It's at the bottom of our steps where our water heater is. And I put up a bar in there. And I'll show you how I put clothing. I, you know, I don't see too many resellers on YouTube that do clothing that do the system I use. I hang everything up. I see a lot of people, you know, pre-package and label, put them in bins. I don't do that. I just hang them up. They're easy for me to find. And I know which one is the last one I listed. You could look that stuff up, but it's easier for me to go and look at the back end of this rack and say, these have been here for the longest. These are the ones that need to go on sale. I actually have four different places where I hang clothing and I do the same system, right to left, right to left, right to left. Newest items on the right, farthest or oldest items on the left. And I do that with polo shirts, t-shirts, Liberty University items, and then long sleeve collared or jackets or sweatshirts go in the longest one, the biggest one with the sturdiest bar. And that's basically how I do it. I want to, I'm curious to know out there, if you do clothing, how is your setup? How do you organize it? Do you know what's been in your store a long time any other way than actually going into eBay and checking it out? So that's how I do it. I want to see if I can get some suggestions out there from you or just tell me how you do it and you can share it with others but in the meantime we had some cool sales today i think we had i think eight sales maybe and seven or eight viewer sales as well which is pretty typical we usually sell between five and 15 items a day and then obviously lately we've been selling an awful lot to viewers as the channel has grown and we are so very appreciative to each and every one of you out there we really really are so let's take a look at what's sold today as we have a lot lately, we're starting off the show with a couple of NMN sales. This one's going out to Sally, and this one's going out to Mindy. I think Sally said she was from Oregon, so we really do appreciate the support. We thank you very much. All right, here's one of those items, Retail Arbitrage from Walmart. And we did make some good money on these, and then they just absolutely dried up. They sold a few at Christmas, sold a few in the booth. We're making tiny bits of profit on these. These, two, a set of two here sold twice so four total of nineteen dollars i think is what it was 19.95 plus actually let me look it up make sure i get it right here nineteen dollars and 98 cents plus shipping so calculated this one out we made seven dollars profit 
not a very big profit but i'm very excited because these things have been in this store for over 600 days and we have one set left and i bought so many of these i think i filled three grocery carts up with them and we have one set of two left so we didn't i would never buy them again never but we're still going to make money on them we're still making money on them we're making the least amount of money on them now than we ever have in the course of having them but we're down to two left so that's awesome all right this one's going out to dan and dan says hey we love your your youtube channel we just wanted to help out with a gift for those that couple working in the shed each viewer purchased for the month of february we're giving one dollar to travis and lisa and the idea was to give them a nice night out paid for by all of us um, at commonwealth picker and we are well i was hoping for a hundred dollars to that would i figured that would be enough to pay for the babysitter to pay for dinner and to pay for a nice evening out and go see a movie or something and we are well on the way i'll update it either at the end of this show or the next one but we just keep adding to that total i think we're close to 40 bucks already which is pretty good I take that back because we also had a $20 donation thrown in there as well from uh, D at Flippin' Particles. So we're more than 40 for sure. All right, here's a great example of Goodwill putting a low price on something that I was shocked on. Now, the Goodwill around here usually doesn't specially price items. They do occasionally. But most everything, hey, if it's in there, if it's a jacket, it's this. If it's jeans, it's this. If it's a shirt, it's this. But they don't put special tags on things very often, which I know is pretty rare for a lot of you out there. I see some videos and like you're paying $12 for something. Now, how much would you have paid for this vintage North Face jacket? And it is vintage here, made in the USA, North Face jacket. It's a medium and it's in fairly good shape. I had it listed out there, I think for $70 and it sold for 50, 50 bucks. But this was $3.99 at the Goodwill. So that was a great buy. I really thought it would sell for the asking price, but I uh, ended up taking the taking the 50 bucks because winter's ending and it's taken up space and it was on the far far left of my rack in there so i'm happy with that sale all right we have one going out to nick and nick says my wife and i love your channel and we have learned a lot as fellow resellers we couldn't pass up the opportunity to help the couple working in the shed god bless so thank you so much to both of you we do appreciate it all right so here's a great item that my boy bought so he was at the joyous junkyard sale with me up at Smith Mountain Lake. It's a Catholic church up there, and they have an unbelievably massive sale once a year, and it is packed. I was there 40 minutes early, and I was like uh, seventh in line. It doesn't have a huge advantage, by the way, for getting there that early, but it does have an advantage for sure. It's an interesting one because you have to check out. You can't store your stuff anywhere. You've got to check out. You can't leave it somewhere. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take him with me, and I'm going to get some Ikea bags. We're going to fill them up, and he's going to be the one checking out, and I'm going to keep filling, filling bags up. And we took turns doing that. And then after a while, once it settled down, we started to kind of like uh, comb the rest of the place after the masses had got what they wanted. We bought a bunch of VCRs and things from there. And he was wandering around, and he saw a box of remotes and just bought the whole box. And I don't know, it was probably, I don't even remember. I want to say it was $2 for the whole box. I'd have to track him down and ask him, but this is one of the remotes and it was a really nice one this is a samsung smart tv remote rmc qtd1 i don't know at any rate it looks like it's in really good condition put batteries in it right here it's in really good condition and it sold for 33 dollars just that little remote 33 bucks it'll be first class i have a really thin box that i put things in i don't know if i have an affiliate link to that one it's kind of an odd one i don't use it very often but it's going to be perfect for this one because I could bubble wrap it and I could put it into one of the poly bags, but I think with this one, 32 bucks, it is a little bit, not fragile here, but it's a little wonky right here on the end. And there's a little piece sticking out here. That's like a little handle thing. And I just don't want to take a chance. So I'm going to put it in that, I'll put it in the bubble wrap and I'll put it in that box. So $33 for a remote is pretty good money. And this one's going out to Chuck, and Chuck says, I enjoy watching your videos. Started selling on eBay last September and using knowledge I get from you. Lonnie from Garage Flip, Cincinnati Picker. I'm doing pretty well. Best wishes, C Fox Hustle. That's the eBay store. So awesome. That's great. I see you have quite a bit of feedback for just starting in September, so you must be doing okay. Thanks so much. All right, here's another item that's been in this store for a very long time, and I don't remember where I got this. It doesn't have a hole in it. I don't think this is Goodwill. 
and I just can't remember where I got this thing from, but it is Nike, and it is a woman's XL, woman's XL, and it is, what is it? Let's see if I can see what it says. It says Stanwich, Stanwich logo, Stanwich witch logo, size XL. So this one's pretty good. So for 26 bucks. So since it's not from Goodwill, I probably paid a buck or two at a yard sale. You know, I'm starting to think of where I might have found it, but I'll look it up. Maybe I'll link it if I can find it. 26 bucks, it'll go in a padded flat rate because it's kind of heavy. So that shipping, uh, let's just do the math on it. Let's say I paid two bucks for it. We'll say $4 in fees, six fifty. It's still going to be about a $13, 12 to $13 profit on it. Next one's going out to Amy. Amy says, I'm a new eBay seller and enjoy watching and learning from your videos. I sold, shipped my first Samsung VHS DVD combo. Thanks to watching you. Thanks so much. This little guy is going to go in my eBay woman cave <laughs> for good luck. Thanks so much, Amy. All right, next one is from the Sunny Shares sale. And this is the one that was the private pick from a storage auction reseller or something like that. I'll link it maybe at the end of the video. I call it the Sunny Shares consignment sale because Sonny is the guy we got it from and we couldn't come to an agreement on a price so I just said hey just give it all to me I'll sell it and give you half the profit he's like deal so we call it the Sonny shares because it was all 70s clothing a little bit of 80s in there too and this is probably early 80s for this guy it is a single stitcher Sony tape 40 bucks 40 bucks for this t-shirt and so we're going to split that money the profit on there should be around 31 bucks or so after fees and shipping and all the other costs built in so so let's take a look at that and let Sonny take a look at that and see how much he's made so far we have listed almost none of that clothing so far just some of the easy kind of easy pickings listings to uh to list first the ones that i did i gave all the tough ones to blue ridge mama all right, so far on Sunny Shares, we are all the way up to $74 profit. So that leaves about $37 for me, Sonny, $37 for you. And that's only in three sales, three sales. So that's pretty darn good money. Now, I think those are going to be some of the higher end things, and we got quite a bit. Matter of fact, if you want to take a look at that, we dug through that bin over two different videos on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. Really, really cool old 70s clothes. And we did it, we divided it, me and Blue Ridge Mama did it. We divided it into two bins and dug through it. It was kind of fun. And then if you want to see that actual garage sale, that was on the video entitled Private Pick from a storage auction reseller. It's from a couple weeks ago on the garage sale playlist. All right, these are all going out to Justin. And Justin, we're going to have to add $4 to Travis and Lisa's uh, uh, happy night out. I don't know, we're going to have to call it something, so... That's awesome. Thank you so much for the support. We do appreciate it. He says, thanks for all the knowledge. Appreciate everything. Great videos. I'll add these to my collection. These are Jerry Garcia, Dr. Demento, Twisted Radio Waves CDs. And you know what this guy is. All right, here's a different kind of item. I don't know if you can see this or not. Looks like it's in Spanish there. Do we have an English side? Custom towing mirror. This goes on the side of a Ford F-150. And you buy it, and it's an extension that goes off of your side mirror and then gives you an extension so you can see a little farther in case you're hauling something. And my boy was out garage sailing. I gave him a bunch of money, told him to go to a couple places, and when he was done, just kind of wander around and drive around a little bit and see if he can find some other stuff. And he said this one place was unbelievable. He said they're just giving stuff away practically for next to nothing. So he just started piling it up, didn't even look it up. And he's like, I thought this thing would sell. And he's right, it didn't sell for a ton. But, I mean, he paid next to nothing for everything. He bought boxes of stuff home and said he paid like 10 bucks. This one sold for $20 plus shipping. So that's a pretty good little uh, deal. It was in the store for a very long time. So it was in the store for eight months, eight months. But it sold, and it was next to nothing to buy. So I'm really happy with that sale. Sneak one more Animan in real quick. And that, that didn't sound quite right, did it? At any rate, uh, this one is from Dan, and Dan says, Absolutely love your content. I found you from Matt. I found Matt from Lonnie, who I found from Craigslist Hunter. Keep up the wholesome content. I keep this little guy in my eBay room. Maybe it'll bring me good luck. So that's kind of the, there, there's all kinds of sequencing, you know. Uh, Pete seems to be at the beginning of everybody's sequence. Pete's, Pete's amazing. Craigslist Hunter was the first one I watched as well.
All right, just want to say thanks for joining us, but I'm going to take you on a tour really quick of that one closet and just show you what I mean by right to left. All right, as you can see, this is just my water heater closet here. And I have some hooks that I put up here so when I buy items, I'll come in here, and I don't know if you can see them here, but I have these hooks up here where if I'll come in from garage sale and I have some jackets that I don't really want to list right then, I'll hang them up here. Here's a pair of overalls. Um, and then in the wintertime, I'll pull them down, or not the wintertime, but the fall at least, I'll pull them down and I'll start listing them. This is the closet with most of my clothing in it, at least the heavy items. And so I've just listed this, or Blue Ridge Mama listed this. Um, there's a Harley shirt. and So this is the recently listed items. And then as we go this way, the oldest items are over there. And they kind of progress going that way. And so sometimes I'll go down to that end and I'll look at the items that have been there forever. And I'll either go on and I'll look at the listing, see if I made some kind of mistake, see if the price has dropped on them, or I'll put them on sale. And I know that these items back here have usually been there for a year. And these items here have just been listed. So it's typically how I do it. And I'm really happy when I sell items from back here. It's kind of cool. So let me know if that's something you do or not. And uh, if you don't, then let me know what you do. It's also a good way to judge, right? I'm like, I'm not buying any more jackets because I only have this much space. That's kind of how I do. Now, I sold a bunch this winter and I just sold a few more. But this thing was absolutely packed full. And so we've probably sold, I don't know, items of clothing off this rack in the last month. We've probably sold 20. And over the last four months, we've probably sold 50. So it's long tail, but you very easily can figure out how you want to uh, pro progress, how you want to proceed if you have a system like this. All right, just want to say thank you one more time and give you an update on the Travis and Lisa sales, the viewer sales. We're up to 59 different viewer sales so far. That is amazing and awesome, and we thank each and every one of you. You guys are awesome, and I know they will enjoy it. Hey, if you want to check out either one of those sales, the Sunny Shares sale, or if you want to look at the video where we bought them, I'll uh, link them right here. See you next time.